Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for Noonday Prayer on February the 2nd. This is the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ in the temple. It's also called Candlemas because this is usually when candles are blessed uh, for use throughout the church the rest of the year. Today's feast is sometimes known as the Purification of St. Mary the Virgin. And in the Orthodox Church, it's also been called the Meeting of Christ with Simeon. Uh, such a variety of names is ample testimony to the wealth of spiritual meaning that generations of Christians have discovered in this small incident. The title of the presentation reminds us of the Jewish law that every firstborn son had to be dedicated to God in memory of the Israelites' deliverance from Egypt. When the firstborn sons of the Egyptians died and those of Israel were spared. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. Our appointed psalm today is Psalm 121. If you're on the nite.app, you're with us. If you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer, Psalm 121 is found on page 779 in the Psalter. And let us proclaim this psalm with joined voices. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch out over your going out and your in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on this reading from Romans. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. So it's poured into our hearts and pumped out through our arteries and veins. It's a symbolic, right? Our joy is accepting that gift of grace from God. And that's the, being led by our advocate, the paraclete, the Holy Spirit, to go out and do the good works in the world that we're compelled to do, to spread the gospel and bring others to know Christ. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory that all nations may come and worship you. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us now take this time to offer our free intercessions, those thoughts, those um, issues that we keep in our minds and our hearts, bring them to the Lord and ask for enlightenment.
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Again, thank you for spending some of your day with us. The Daily Office, uh, that part known as Noonday Prayer, I encourage you to look at other parts of the Daily Office and pray them often. Morning Prayer, Noonday Prayer, Evening Prayer, and Compline. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning.